Graphene is the first man-made two-dimensional material. It is actually only a one-atom thick layer of pure carbon. It is closely related to nanotubes and microscopic graphite balls called fullerenes. Graphene is basically graphite like the core of pencils, but its neatly arranged and tightly woven atoms make it 200 times stronger than a steel sheet of the same thickness. The leader of the graphene research team at Manchester University, Aravind Vijayaragavan, says incredible strength is not its only quality. It's bendable, stretchable, transparent, super light, etc. Very the best conductor of heat, the best conductor of electricity. The potential of graphene is practically unlimited. It can be used in cancer therapy, in flexible touch screens, or for batteries that will charge in seconds. Top tennis players Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray use graphene-based rackets. But being so thin, graphene is also extremely hard to handle, like the transparent cellulose used for wrapping food. It gets everywhere, it crinkles up, it sticks to everything. Because of that, large-scale production is still decades away, says George Mason University engineering professor Dimitris Ioano, speaking via Skype. The real bottleneck is to find out a technique to make large area uh, uh, graphene layers, and that's not yet possible, uh, I don't think. But there is a lot of research going on. Ioano says someday graphene may be very useful for smartphone displays, supercapacitors, and nano antennas for nano machines that could talk to each other. Britain and the European Union are building a $140 million National Graphene Institute in Manchester, while there are already close to 10,000 patents worldwide related to the new material. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.